All right, welcome to today's video. We're doing something a little bit different. So this is a video for anyone, even if you're not a graphic designer, the only requirement is that you know how to use a Mac or rather that you use a Mac. You don't really have to know how to use it very well, but I'm gonna be showing you my five top tips for using Finder and becoming more efficient when you're working with your files on your computer. These are things that I feel I notice a lot of people don't know. And whenever you do, it just speeds you up. You save so much time. It's so helpful. So let's get into it. So here I have a folder, um, it's where a lot of my art is stored. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is called the path bar. So if you go to view and then you do show path bar, we'll now have this little bar that appears at the bottom of every finder window. And that's gonna show you where your files are located. So if I click into personal and then this animation course that I never completed, um, I can see that, that it's following me right here in my path bar. So at any point, I could jump up to a higher level of the file structure that I was at before uh, and move around really easily. It's also helpful if you search for a file and you find it, when you click on it, it's gonna immediately show you where it is. So that's number one, that's using the path bar and it's super, super helpful. Uh, number two is a little bit more extended. I'm gonna show you all of the shortcuts that I use that are extremely helpful. I'll save my favorite one for the end. Uh, so the first thing is just using the arrow keys on your computer. What I want to challenge you to do is when you're working in Finder, the goal should be that you don't use your mouse at all. That's that's how I perceive it. Like I don't need to be using my mouse. If your hands are on the keyboard, you should only need to be using the keyboard. So that's going to be your test to see if you're really getting efficient at Finder is if you need to use a mouse. So in general, what you can do is you can just move left and right, up and down on your keyboard to change which file you're looking at. Also a great shortcut is clicking, holding command, and then I can go up or down. So if I wanna go into proof, I click down and it's gonna bring me into the file that I've selected. Anytime I'm in a folder, I can click command up and that'll bring me back out and I can work my way up or down. It, see, it's easy. I'm already navigating files really quickly here. Really easy. Another thing that's really helpful is actually just typing in the name. So say I want to get over here to this lesson, uh, file or whatever lesson folder. So I can just start typing in LES and boom, it brings me over there. Or I could type in uh, GRO and it brings me to this file, which uh, it's really simple. That's the way that I navigate. And it's especially helpful on something like this, where I have a ton of clients, like just so many to where I would waste so much time scrolling through there to try to get down to, you know, like the T's or something. Instead, what I can just do is start typing in the name T and then it'll immediately bring me down to the T's or I could go to the C's or the H's. It's really easy um, and it's a great way to navigate while I'm here when you're in the uh, column view, which is mainly what I use. Uh, you can also do your ups and downs, but instead of clicking command down to go into the folder, you can just click right or left. That'll bring you in and out um, and you can look through your different files, all that jazz, it's really helpful. And the same thing is when you go into a new folder, I could type W and it's gonna bring me to the website folder. So really simple there, really helpful. Okay, here is my favorite one. And this is the one that I see people never use and it's so sad. So when you're selecting on any file, you can just click spacebar, watch this. This is a fun little animation I did of a Pokemon for my uh, animation course that I did not finish. I'll scale them down so I can show you a little bit what we're doing here. But this uh, this preview image right here is, I don't know why we're not scaling here, guys. Well, we're not scaling this down at the moment. There we go, okay. So what's really great about this spacebar tool is I still have functionality over here. Like I can still move around in my files by going up and down. And it's going to give me information about each of the files that I'm looking at. And I can do the same thing going down I can preview things really easily. It's really, really awesome. And I'm not having to open any file. So nothing is being opened. I'm not making a bunch of new windows, but sometimes it's really small. You wanna see, hey, what is that? Is that the file that I'm looking for? Just clicking spacebar is gonna bring open this uh, preview, which is so helpful. So if I did wanna open this, let's go down to this one called preview. I will open with the application preview, a little confusing. Okay, so now it actually opens in the application, which is pretty simple. So that's our shortcuts. I'm gonna bring you to number three, which is saving to recent folders. This is another one where I see people waste a lot of time. So if you're saving a file, so let's say we're gonna save this, um, which Apple has changed the way they do saving things, which is really silly. So you have to make a duplicate and then you save it. It's really dumb. I don't know why they did that. 
So what I can do, say I want to save it in lesson one. That's pretty great. That's where it's already going to bring me because that's where the file is. But maybe I want to save it somewhere else. If you click on this button right here, instead of going back through you know, your sidebar and then navigating through a bunch of folders to find where you're going, if you were recently in that folder, so final or you know art or something, this right here is going to show you your five most recent files where you can save something to. Uh, and so that's really, really helpful when you're saving new files, because then you don't have to go running around trying to figure out what it is you're looking for in this finder window. You can just go down to your recent places and then you can jump straight to where you need to be. I use that one all the time. So that's number three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close all of these open windows I got here. Delete. Okay. And there's another way you can also do this, um, which is through in finder, you can just click go and then go to recent folders and it does essentially the same thing. So that's if you're not saving a file, but you're trying to get to a folder that you're recently using. Um, so maybe proof, it'll open up whatever folder I was just using. It's pretty great. Okay, so number four, uh, and this is one that I really like. I'm gonna go actually back to this folder that I had opened earlier with a bunch of clients. So if I'm working with uh, you know a ton of different clients or a ton of different folders, for me personally, it can get confusing to remember what I'm working on, especially because I'm often working on multiple things at once. So there's a trick that I really love to use. It works best, in my opinion, in column view. So if I go up here to my sorting, I can do date modified. And so this is gonna immediately show me the things that were most recently modified. It's gonna put those at the top. In other words, the things I'm working on get sorted to the top of my finder and the things that I haven't worked on in a while stay at the bottom. So it lets me focus on the things that I'm actually trying to work on at the time being. And anytime I go into any of these folders and edit something, so say I added a new folder here and called it new folder. Look at that, it automatically jumped up here to today. So it's automatically jumped up to the recently modified section, which is really great. Uh, another free shortcut, command delete, deletes folders or, uh, or files which Google Drive has a weird thing with this, forget about that. But point is, you can use the uh, recently modified filter to help you find and stay on top of what you're currently working on if you're juggling a lot of different projects. Very, very, very helpful. Okay, last thing I'm gonna show you, which is kind of a finder thing, kind of not, number five, this is command spacebar. And this is your spotlight search. So you can also access this by clicking on this little uh, magnifying glass up here, but this searches everything, and I mean everything, on your computer at a glance. So for me, I have a template that I use when I export logos, and honestly, I have no idea where it's saved. I don't even know. But I can just type logo export, there you go, template, and bang, it brings up my highest uh, or most relevant search items. What's cool is it's also gonna bring up serious suggested websites. It's gonna bring documents that I have in my uh, notes or things. I could also search fire, you know, and it'll bring out a location on Google or a search suggestion or actual files that I have. So it's really helpful. Uh, and I use this all the time. So if you're trying to get to something quickly or even something like opening an application, you can just type in Photoshop and click enter and it'll open application. So this is a way that I navigate. Again, the whole idea is we're not using our mouse, right? We're keeping our hands on the keyboard. So command spacebar lets me easily find what I'm looking for. Just like this. So those are my five top tips for using Finder. I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, it's, it's just changed the way I work so drastically to be able to move a lot faster. And oftentimes when I'm working with others and I see them struggling to do quick things like jump from folder to folder, I just like realize how much time we probably all waste um, not knowing these shortcuts. So I hope that's helpful for you. I'm gonna go over them one more time. Number one is our path bar at the bottom, which is gonna show us where our, uh, file is in like the file structure. Number two are just a bunch of shortcuts, moving left and right with your keys, um, going up and down into folders, clicking the space bar, things like that. We also have save to a recent folder and also clicking go can find our recent folders. Um, we can look at how files are structured by sorting by recently modified, which will show you the stuff you're working on currently. And the last thing is that spotlight search, which is command space bar. So that's five tips. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you liked it and you want to see more Finder tips because I have a few other things, a little more high level stuff that I would be willing to show if anyone is interested. But I hope you have a great day uh, and I will see you soon.